the timelines we have uh, say that uh, uh, primaries will take place between 13th and 26th of this month. Now, primaries are only involving those aspirants who are contesting within the party. Now, those who have direct nominations they will not, of course, participate in the primary because they have direct nominations. We expect to have their names uh, brought to us by 10th of May. So there's really no, no conflict there. Code of conduct is the law. When we gazetted the election date on the 17th of March, if you look at the gazette notices, uh, the code of conduct came into operation. And if you look at the election act, the second schedule, we have simply replicated what's in the law. Everybody is deemed to know the law, and uh, we are not manufacturing anything new. So, the parties who are there in 2013 already have signed. They signed in 2013. It's nothing new. We have to agree as political parties that when we append our signature to some document, it be one which we have all agreed. For this one, there are some. Uh, particular clauses which really uh, puts you in a, uh, I'd say, it, 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 as a sector general for myself, I append my signature to every other mistake that any member can make, it will be uh, squarely on me. So it is only important that we take it before our, our organs of the party, and especially NEC, so that it be, I don't sign a document that is not uh, uh, made known to them. And I think they, they were flexible enough to allow us to, to go back to our respective parties to go and uh, brief them on what the, the content of this uh, electoral uh, code of conduct. Um, and I think uh, with the timelines that we have or that the IBC are saying they have to meet, I think the sooner we get done with, the better for all of us. If somebody has been found and some letter or a political party has decided to write a letter and it's not acted upon, it really demoralizes uh, the whole process. So we want action to be taken on areas that has been pointed, especially the uh, employing um, uh, state resources to campaign. And even up to now, as much as we support Jubilee, we do want uh, the those who are in government to desist from using resources so that it's not seen like uh, there's going to be some unfairness in this election. For me, the matter of concern which I raised is that uh, can we ensure that the IBC itself helps us in the process of creating party discipline. If somebody visits violence on, say, female uh, contestants, for example, and if we disqualify that person, the IBC should not open for them a window to become independent candidates until they listen to the case that we've presented. Otherwise, uh, IBC itself will be condoning a culture of violence which has taken root in this country because you can be violent and you get away with it.